Hey everybody, this is Collected Dude. I'm back with part two of the image. Everything coming out in November. Some of the stuff's out. Some of the stuff is going to be coming out. So hopefully you'll like what you see uh, and pick up something because there's so many books that they're coming out with, just like Marvel and DC. There's so much stuff that they do. Dark Horse. Everybody is like, uh, wow. So hopefully it's something for everybody. Okay, we got Adventure Man. This is number seven. Nice. Terry and Rachel Dodson, Matt, Matt Fraction is writing it. November 24th, it's coming out. Action Adventure. This is his Ghost Lights. Snow keeps falling. Old ghosts keep calling. And Claire Connell discovers a giant secret buried deep beneath Manhattan. Or underneath Manhattan. Okay. All right. And we got Chu, number 10. This funny cover. John Lehman. Okay, he's writing it. End of a story arc. It says crime and mystery, mis fantasy, food noir. It said Dan Boltwood is going to be doing the art. Okay. See, it's uh, She, Drunk History. <laughs> Part 5. Thievery, Time Travel, Double Cross, Revenge. All right. Now we got Dead to Class number 49. I love the first few issues of this. I didn't get any more after, I think, um, 12 or something like that. I have to look and see if I can find some. I find a lot of half price books. I have to go pick them up and read the story. But, I mean, if it's going this far, how well is the story? And I'd love to see the, the TV. I think, didn't they start a TV show of this? If, if not, I'm, I might be confusing it with Umbrella Academy or something like that. I thought they started something with this. Okay, this is Rick Remender. He's writing. I love his writing and stuff. I picked up a lot of different stuff that he did. When he did Black Science, I like that and other stuff that he's done. Okay, and I know he's done some stuff at Marvel with Venom. That was a good story. His, his series on that was nice. November 24th, it comes out. It's new story arc. Action, adventure, crime, and mystery, romance, and thriller. Wes Craig and Lee um, Lowridge are doing the, doing the art. And J.G. Jones doing a cover. There's a wild cover there. Okay, now we got A Fond Farewell, Part 1. The first chapter of the final arc of critically acclaimed Deadly Class. The promise of what could have been. A life that never was. Marcus and Saya are the deadliest couple on earth. But what happens when each, when they're hired to kill each other? Hey, that's like Mr. and Mrs. Smith or something like that, how they did that. Hmm. Deep Beyond. No, that don't look right. This is number 10 of 12, it says. Merkel, Merka, and Dolfo, and David Goy brewing the writing. Merka's doing a cover. And artist Andrea Bracardo. November 10th. It comes out today. All right, and then we got, okay, it's action and adventure, science fiction. The moment of truth has come, and a succession of twists and turns. Paul and his companions embark on their latest adventure, which could also be the last adventure humanity ever takes, to be honest. All right. <laughs> see what we got now. Uh, Department of Truth, number 14. Hey. Looks like two covers there. Cover A and cover B. James Tinian, the fourth. John J. Pearson is doing the art. Martin Simmons is doing a cover. November 24th, horror thriller. In 1946, Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard and eccentric rocket scientist Jack Parsons performed a series of rituals that's to summon a divine feminine being. Her name was Babylon. She was dressed all in red. Okay. Eisner winner John J. Pearson, blue and green, joins the Department of Truth for an occult blast from the past. Wow. And we got Echo Lands. I love the artwork on this. J.H. Williams is doing it all with W. Hayden Blackman. Gabriel Rodriguez and Dave Stewart are going to be doing a cover. Cool. Along with J. With John with J.H. Yeah. Okay, we got November 24th, 44 pages. Pretty long. Action and adventure, fantasy, horror, science fiction. Nice cover. Okay, we got the major. Image comic comics event of 2021 continues. 
Hope Red Hood and her allies have been pursued by a violent golem, attacked by a giant sea serpent, and imprisoned by a former friend. No matter the threat, the team is determined to discover the secret behind Taro's demon's stolen gem. But when an unexpected clue arises, they'll have to brave the depths of the ocean to face their future with the enigmatic oracle. Wow, the depths of the ocean. I mean, you see the movies and you see different things like that. Imagine being out in the ocean, just dropped in the middle of the ocean. And you, what are you going to do? <laughs> wow. Swim? Hopefully, man. Okay, now we got Echo Lands, number three, Raw Cut Edition. I like these two because it's got the um, different artwork in it. And you see the, what it looks like before they inked it and colored it and stuff. This one comes out November 24th as well. It's the uh, same price, too. Each issue of Echo Lands off also offers an accompanying raw cut edition, featuring the art of J.H. Williams III as it looked leaving his work studio, plus translucent lettering. Cool. That looks cool. Desperate to escape the wizard's magical assassin, Hope Redwood, Kor, Castrum, Dina, and Rosa seek safe harbor with the crime... Lord and self-proclaimed deity Romulus. But will Hope and Romulus's turbulent history doom the rest of the crew? And can even a demigod in super-powered armor stop the wizard's relentless daughter? And what has happened to Rabbit? Find out by getting the book. Now we got Firepower. I love this story. Robert Kirkman, Chris Samney, and Matt Matthew Wilson, number 17. This story's been really good so far. Okay, this came out already, November 3rd. Action and Adventure from Skybound. Surrendered, or surrounded, alone, weakened. Owen Johnson is in for the fight of his life. Wow. Then we got Frontiersman, number three. Well, that looks wild. Patrick Kendall. Kenlon, Marco Ferrari. They're doing the art and the writing. Hmm. November 24th, Action and Adventure Superheroes. Maurizio Rosenweig is doing the cover. As villains conspire against him behind the scenes, Frontiersman battles a lunatic in front of the world. A live on camera fight to the death with a former hero gone rogue. There is no place to hide. All right. Now we got The Good Asian, number seven of ten. That's wild cover. We got a variant down here. November 24th, Crime and Mystery, Historical Fiction. Edison Hark finally comes face to face with a Hugh Long killer terrorizing Chinatown, but their action packed confrontation will cost him more than he ever dreamed. Hmm. Stunning, says Jock, which is All-Star Batman. Gunslinger Spawn, number two. That's cool. Oh. Man, oh man. Todd McFarlane writing it. Brett Booth is doing the art and the cover. Jorn Behrens is doing the cover A. Brett Booth does cover B. So cover A, this is by Bjorn Barons. November 17th, 24 pages, Superheroes. $2.99 still, we got a good price on it. Vampires, guns, and blood. But whose blood will be spilled first? Gunslinger stumbles across a vicious vampire cult's plot to kill Al Simmons. Who Gunslinger needs alive if he is ever to return back to 1859? Man. All right, Hell Cop number two, Brian Haberlin. He's doing the writing and the uh, art and cover A through C by him and uh, Gerard Van Dyke, or Gerard Van Dyke. That's a nice cover there. We got cover B and cover C. Play Demon, really? Wow. Okay, then we got Come Hell or High Water. Virgil has been framed for the murder of his partner, 
With the help of Taj, he escapes custody and heads to hell in a desperate attempt to find his partner's life force and clear his name. All right. Jupiter's Legacy, Requiem, number 6 of 12. That's the main cover there, looks like. Then we got covers B, C, and D. Hmm. Mark Miller, writing it. Tommy Lee Edwards, art. All the different people doing the covers, and you got a Netflix photo cover down there. Jeff Deckel, November 17th, 10th, Superheroes, end of a story arc. Okay, the first arc of the sequel to the smash hit Netflix show comes to a stunning conclusion as Chloe and Brandon's children go head to head. And not everyone in this book is getting out alive. Just when you thought we couldn't top this series, it suddenly goes to the next level. Details of this exercise issue must be kept under wraps for story purposes, but you will have our word. But you have our word. You will not be disappointed. All right, if you're, if you're following that, that's pretty cool. Okay, now we got King Spawn number four. That's black and white cover. Cool. Sean Lewis writing it. Yavior. Fernandez is doing the art. Jason Sean Alexander's cover A, which is this one here, I think. And Yavior uh, Fernandez is doing cover B. November 10th, so it's out today. Superheroes. Spawn locates Kincaid, and the two finally face off. But was that his plan the entire time? Meanwhile, Jessica and Medieval continue their globe-trotting hunt for superpower terrorist. All right. The Magic Order, number two of six. That's the cover there, the main cover there. Mark Miller, again, he's doing writing. And cover B and cover C. Comes out November 24th. Fantasy Horror. Stuart Eimanen. Cool. I like his writing, or I like his art. He's doing cover B with the uh, black and white variant in the main cover. And Gene Haas doing cover C. Okay, the next chapter in Mark Miller's critically acclaimed The Magic Order series takes the Moonstone family to England where... Kevin Mitchell, the leader of the London chapter, is under attack by dark forces living in the world's underbelly. The magic order made all the monsters disappear 500 years ago, but now they've had enough, and they want to rule the world again. Oh, man. You can't do it. They won't let you. It won't be easy. Okay, now we got Man-Eaters, the Cursed. There's a main cover there. Number 505, Chelsea Kane is doing a writing. Kate Nimzik and Lita Maternik. Maternik A is going to be doing the art. And Leah is going to be doing the covers A and B. November 10th came out today. End of a story arc. Or end of story arc. Speculation or speculate speculative fiction supernatural. Then we got one of these socks. The, cur <laughs> the cursed. Have you seen me? The daring conclusion of Man-Eaters the Cursed. Camp secrets are revealed, lost things are found, and many, and the army of frogs is defeated. Meanwhile, Maud's parents continue to enjoy a nice getaway in Carmel by the sea. Okay. This issue comes with a collectible best all-around camper certificate. Wow. <laughs> Manifest Destiny number 47. The first few issues this was really cool, but it's way up there now. Wow. I liked what the story was in the beginning. I haven't, like I said, I haven't followed it in a while. There's so many books. But Chris Dingus is doing the writing. Matthew Roberts and Owen Gianni doing the art. And Matthew Roberts is going to be doing the cover. November 24th. Action and adventure, historical fiction. Whoever kills the war child will hold the fate of the world in their hands. Only two issues left. Wow. One of 49, 50. Two issues, so it would be, is it this one and 48? Or is it going to go to 50? I don't know. Hmm. Now we got 
The Me You Love in the Dark, number four of five. Wow. Okay, November 3rd, it came out last week. Horror Drama Romance. Okay. As Rose's isolation takes a turn toward the dark, a series of events reveals more of the true nature of her mysterious companion. Writer Scotty Young, I Hate Fairyland, Deadpool, Strange Academy, and artist Jorge Corona, number one with a bullet, Super Sons, Feathers, follow up their critically acclaimed series Middle West with a brand new haunting tale. Fans of Stephen King and Neil Gaiman will enjoy this beautiful, dark, and disturbing story of discovery, love, and terror. Wow. Okay, I got the first ones of that, I think. Nightmare. Okay, Nita Hawes Nightmare Blog, number two. Written by Rodney Barnes. Artist, Well B. Cover B, Jason Sean Alexander. And cover C, Patrick Reynolds. Hmm. There's the covers right there. That's wild looking. Cover C. Okay. Crime and Mystery Horror Supernatural. The Fire Next Time, Part 2. From the universe of Eisner nominated series Philadelphia comes a terrifying new tie in horror series by acclaimed Marvel writer Rodney Barnes and fan favorite spawn artist Sean, Jason Sean Alexander. Okay, Nita Haas, Paranormal Hunting Nightmare blog, has gotten its first cry for help, but the case leads to a dead end when the caller is found dismembered with no tangible clues as to what happened. As Nita offers her services to Detective Harden, the demon Corson begins to move his pawn across the board, putting humanity in even more peril with every step forward. Nita Haas' Nightmare blog is the perfect conduit for us to... To, to explore all manner of things that go bump or scream in the night. This is <laughs> kick butt horror with crazy amazing talent behind it. Sean, Jason Sean Alexander. All right. If you like stuff like that, you got it. Ordinary Gods, number five. There's the cover right there. That's nice. Comes out November 10th, today. Kyle Higgins and Joe Clark are writing it. Felipe Watanabe and Frank William are doing the art. And cover. Science fiction. With four of the five awakened, all eyes turn to the final piece of the puzzle. But who is the prodigy? Where in the world are they? And who will get to them first? Now we got Primordial, number three of six. That's a wild cover. Then we got the cover B. That's different, too. Okay, November 17th, Jeff Lemire, Andrea Sarantino doing the art. Jeff Lemire is doing the writing. And, Emmy, and Andrea is doing cover A. And Emmy Lennox is doing cover B. Science fiction, November 17th. Okay, we got Laika encounters Baker and Abel as she tries to find her way home. But where is she? Back on Earth? Yelena and Pembroke dig for answers on Lake Laika's location, but the KGB wants that information to stay buried at any cost. Wow. Okay. Okay, we got a righteous thirst for vengeance here. That's the cover. Rick Mender, he's writing so much, man. Wow, I like his writing. I'm going to try to see if I can pick these books up. Andre Arujo and Chris O'Halloran are doing the artist in the cover. November 17th, crime and mystery thriller. Sonny digs into the dark web to discover the Blue Jackal's next victim. He soon realizes he is not the only man on the job. All right, now we got Second Chances, number four. That's a nice cover. Okay, we got Ricky Mamon doing the writing and artist and cover by Max Bertolini. November 17th, action and adventure, crime and mystery, mini series finale, it says. It's black and white, I guess, and mature. 
that's different. These, some of these are mature. You can see the M. I think that means for mature. Some of the stuff that's on these in, in, this, in the books. An extended finale issue. LeBlanc, barely alive after a savage brawl with two masked assassins, has to piece together where Emma might be hiding. Unfortunately for him, he's stuck with Miss Nobody. The finale will end in shock and despair. Or, no, or maybe rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> or perhaps both. Because we're all on drugs. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Okay. The Six Sidekicks of Trigger Keaton, number six of six. Different art. Some of the titles they come up with are funny. Pretty cool. Kyle Starks is the right is writing it. Chris Schweitzer, or Schweizer, is doing the uh, art in the cover A, and Lila De Luke, De Duca, Del Duca, or Dusa Duca, um, cover B, comes out today, November tenth. Well, it came out today because it's later in the evening. Mini series finale, action and adventure, humor. What a perfect comic. Steve Orlando, Crisis, or Commanders in Crisis. Okay, we've come to the conclusion, my friends. Have these six dummies <laughs> figured out who killed their terribly unlikable TV star employer? Will they get their satisfaction? Will they likely have to fight some more? Yes, my friends, they will definitely have to fight some more. That's what we're here for. Fights and dumb mysteries. Come and enjoy the satisfying conclusion to, to these six finding friendship and the killer, and maybe a better life too, or maybe not. Maybe it all goes to crap. We're not going to just give it away. All right. Now we got Spawn, number 324. Oh, that's cool. Todd McFarlane, writing it. Carlo Barbari, Barbari is doing the art. Don Aguillo is doing the cover A, and Francesco Martina, obviously. He's been writing, doing, I mean, doing covers for a few years now. Very beautiful cuff stuff, too. He's doing cover B. Okay, November 24th, 24 pages. Superheroes. T plus. Team plus, I'm assuming. Okay, with no more heroes living in at his headquarters, Spawn is finally left alone to pursue his new goal of finding the one enemy that can give him the secret to saving his own soul. Plus, new villain Sin returns marking his first appearance in Spawn's universe number one. All right, do we have any more? Let's see what else we got here. Okay, now we got St. Mercy number 4-4. Four, four. Okay, John Zor Platoon, or Platon, and Attilio Rojo. November 17th, action and adventure, historical fiction, miniseries finale. That's a cool cover. Pretty scary, spooky looking thing. And cover B. As St. Mercy reaches its explosive climax, Toctilisica stands up to her god rather than be dishonored as the human sacrificial temple is overrun with blood and horror. Meanwhile, Mercy finds herself transformed by the cursed Incan gold. Mercy and Toctilisica working together through time, are determined to retrieve the stolen gold that has changed them both forever, even if that means killing anyone who tries to stop them. Ooh. Okay, Mirka and Dolfo's Sweet Paprika, number 5 of 12. There's a cover there. Comes out November 17th. Okay, it's Contemporary Women, Humor, or Romance. By Mirka and Dolfo, writer, artist, and cover. The agreement is clear in the dynamics of the working with benefits relationship between Paprika and Dill leave no room for doubt. Yet the skilled young manager's problems are not over. On the contrary, conquering the fascinating Zaatar is not the only goal Paprika seeks to achieve. Okay, now we got that Texas Blood, number 12. There's a cover there. That's a cool cover. I like the tones. There's a variant down here. Cover B. This is November 17th. End of story arc. Crime and mystery. Supernatural. Mature. Eversol, 1981, part 6. The Eversol, 1981 storyline ends here. Joe Bob wrestles the ghost of the past as he recounts the frightening conclusion of the Cult of Night's Ritual. Hmm. 
Now we got time before time, number seven. This is good so far. I'm on issue number five. Still have to read it. That's a nice cover for cover A, blues. Then we got uh, cover B down here. That's nice too, cool. Looks powerful, fast. Declan Shelby and Rory McConville are doing the writing. With Declan and Chris O'Colloran doing the art. And Declan's doing cover A and Adam Gorham, Gorham is doing cover B. November 17th, Crime and Mystery Science Fiction. As the Syndicate and the Union wage war across decades, Tatsuo and Nadia continue their journey to reunite Nadia with her family, but a shocking surprise awaits them in the year 2042. Wow. All right, what else we got here? Now we got Trover Saves the Universe. Just a second. Okay. This is Trover Saves the Universe, number four. There's a cover there. Wow. This is writer, artist, cover, Tess Stone, November 10th. It, comes out to, it came out today. Humor science fiction. Mature. Based on the acclaimed video game by Rick and Morty, co-creator Justin Rowland. Royland. Okay. When the shocking identity of his employer is revealed, Dr. Kill sets his sights on the ICG, ICJ. Can Clover and Bo escape the, the planet Sad Sack to warn Trover, Pink Trover, and the rest of the Eye Hole Monsters in time? And how can they ever match up against Dr. Kill's ultimate power, baby? <laughs> All right, now we got Two Moons, number seven. That's a cool cover. I like that. Wow, that's cool. And then we got cover B. More spiritual type lines there. Okay, John Arcudi is doing the writing. Valerio Gian Giordano and Giovanna Nero are doing the art in cover A. And Welby is doing cover B, November 24th. Horror Western. Ghost War Part 2. A squad of Buffalo soldiers has been tasked with relo relocating a uh, captured Cheyenne chief, but their way is blocked by a mission of vengeance and the ghost of the tall grass prairie. Hmm. Now we got Undiscovered Country, number 18. Wild cover there. Scott Snyder and Charles Soule doing the writing. Giuseppe Camicoli is doing the art with Leonardo Marcello, Grassi, and Matt uh, Wilson. Cover B, Giuseppe, and cover... B, uh, oh, cover A is Giuseppe, and uh, cover B is Jay Lee. Cool. November 24th. Action adventure dy dystopian. It's mature. Okay, end of story arc. Possibility, part six. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Today's speaker is about to give what is undoubtedly the most important speech ever composed, so please give him your full attention. As the third arc of our story comes to a shocking close, we now present Ace Kenyatta. All right. Now we got vinyl number six of six. So many books. There's so many different things here. Doug Wagner is doing the writing, and Daniel Hilliard and Dave Stewart are doing the art and the cover. November 17th. Horror, dark humor, and thriller miniseries finale. It's mature. A sunflower, death bunker ablaze. Ella Fitzgerald blaring in every room. It's Walter versus Madeline. Or is that Madeline? Get it to find out. Okay, two more. Okay, The Walking Dead, number 26. Deluxe. Here's the cover there. David Finch. Let me get cover B there. Okay, Robert Kirkman. Char Charlie Adler and Dave McC McCaig are doing the artist and cover B. Cover A is by David Finch and D Dave McCaig, and cover C is by Andre Brisson and Andre Adriano, Adriano Lucas. Okay, that came out uh, last week, November 3rd. Horror drama. Mature. After, after discovering signs of life outside the prison, Rick and Glenn venture into the woods and encounter something very unexpected. This stunning presentation in stunning... This deluxe presentation in stunning full color... Also features another installment of Cutting Room Floor and Creator Commentary. Okay, now we got number 27, The Walking Dead Deluxe. That's cool. And then the variants right here. Covered B and D. 
So all the names, same people. Arthur Adams is doing cover F. Charlie Adler, cover D. Robert Kirkman, everybody's doing the same stuff. We got November 17th, Horror Drama. Welcome to Woodbury, home to the Walking Dead. Dead's most heinous or heinous villain, the governor. Wow. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to show you is here the Invincible Bloody Logo t-shirt and the hoodie. Black. Very cool. $40 for extra large or, or uh, 4XL. And I'd probably get the, the 2X, $35 for that one. These are pretty cool. Well, let me know what you think. I don't want to run out of time. I'm just about out of time. But let me know what you think about what's going on with um, Image and everything. And there's so many books, different books that they have. That was it. Yeah, that was it. So you guys have a great day. Um, and like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. As always, you have a great day and a great week. Collect the dude out.